In this video, we'll be cutting out the container panels for the doors and windows on the first level and welding in the reinforcements for these openings. Here, here, and here. We decided to start with the entrance door to the first level. We used a 7 inch angle grinder with a cutting disc to cut out this panel. Due to the amount of debris that flies around everywhere when we use the angle grinder, we take safety pretty seriously. And that is why when we use the angle grinder, we look like the Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> We ended up working into the night cutting out this panel for the entrance. We just set up the lights on the interior of the containers and worked from the inside. Once the panel for the entrance door was removed, we welded in the door frame, which also doubles as reinforcements for this opening. The reason why we have so many reinforcements is because eventually the house will be three levels and have a rooftop deck. So all of the openings need to be reinforced to compensate for the loss of strength from the removal of the corrugated panels. We MIG welded the door frame to the container using flux core wire. Making sparks fly like the 4th of July. Beautiful autumn day out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. Uh, side note, if you guys ever wonder why I just speak from behind the camera rather than film myself over stuff, it's because most of the time I look like this. <laughs> so today, uh, well actually yesterday, we finished cutting out the door entrance for the first level. So now we're working on welding in the frame and some reinforcements. Welded in a reinforcement there. And Vion is back there cutting the other piece of steel that will go right here and across the top. We used the 9 inch grinder with a grinding wheel to grind down the top of the bottom C channel so that the entrance door will sit flush against the bottom C channel once it's installed. The mantra of our life these days goes a little bit like. Grand Weld Paint Repeat. As you can see, we got our money's worth out of that grinding disc. Good job. I need a good disc. After the opening was complete, we painted the exposed steel with a marine grade zinc epoxy primer. After the primer dried, we went over it with a marine grade acrylic top coat, which is the black paint that you'll see in the finished photos. Eventually, the whole house will be painted this way with the primer and the top coat, and when we are finished, the house will end up being sort of a matte black. I can't even tell you how terrible it is when you have all this beer on your face and you have a little itch right underneath all of it. <laughs> so right now, Violent, he's working on grinding down the rail so that we can uh, 
see if the door fits inside the frame that we just made. So measurements are all good, so it should fit, but never know until you try. So as soon as he's done, we're gonna grab the door and try to place it in there. The door fit perfectly inside. Really happy that all of our measurements were precise enough to allow for no mistakes. Today at Pacific Pines Ranch, we are working on the cutouts for the first level on the exterior, so for the doors and windows. So Viance inside over there, cutting out the first part of the window. We used a 7 inch angle grinder with a cutting disc for this opening. We made all of our cuts on the first level from the interior because it was easier to access and because the ground is sloped on one side of our land so it's much easier to cut from the inside than it is to have a ladder on sloped land. We used a reciprocating saw to cut the corners of the panels. Hey, hey! up? We cut out small sized panels rather than one large panel because as I've mentioned before in my previous videos, they're much easier to carry around. When they're one giant panel, it's extremely heavy and wobbly and really difficult to move around the building site, so it's just a lot easier if they are smaller and more agile. Timber. After the cutouts were complete, we cleaned where the reinforcements will be welded to the container so we could get a good, clean weld. Okay, so let me take all my gear. Sorry. Yeah. Hello. Hey. So this is the view from the from this level. This cut out. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Wow. Amazing. So there is the opening of the sliding glass door for the bottom level. Now we're working on welding in the reinforcements. And while I'm welding, Vion's going to be down there working on the cutout for the second sliding door. I don't think we could have picked a better day to do these cutouts, or a better time rather. 
the views are incredible and it was so amazing to finish these cutouts and get to enjoy the the views that eventually we will be enjoying in our everyday life. For those of you 90s kids out there, I feel like I am living in a live action movie of Fern Gully. Once the cutouts for this opening were complete, we went ahead and started to size the reinforcements for this opening. The reinforcements also double as the door frame for this sliding glass door. Once the reinforcements were ready to go, I went ahead and welded them into place. As it got later in the day, my lens started to get extreme condensation, which is pretty much status quo here in the Pacific Northwest, which is why the footage looks super, super foggy. But I think it does kind of a cool effect with the welding. Another lovely day out on Pacific Pines Ranch. I'm gonna take you guys inside with my beautiful gear and show you what we've done so far. We've gotten almost all of the openings cut out and we're working on doing the reinforcements and uh, frames for the exterior windows and doors. Sometimes it's really difficult to keep up with the footage of the house, especially when Vion and I are both working on something. For example, when I go to weld and he's grinding or painting, that's why things have been kind of hit or miss. I apologize for that, but I'm gonna take you inside and show you what we have done so far. So here's the entrance. Good morning. There's Viant working with the beautiful view. So these will be, uh, well, they'll stay as they are, but we will cut the middle panel out and put a glass panel inside. So they'll be functioning doors. And this is the little hallway to this room. So here's the view from the back corner. We still have two windows to do here, one here and one here. So there's that. Here's the, the view from the other corner. And then this will be a bathroom here, a little bar area here. There's my hard worker. Yay! <laughs> Looking good. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick video explaining the life and reality of doing everything yourself, I guess. So we had an issue with the welder directly when we started to weld, of course, or we're trying to start to weld. And the we thought the electricity was, something was wrong with it. And we found out that in fact, there's something wrong with the welder. So after spending like an hour and a half checking all of the, the outlets and the plugs and things like that, now we have to stop what we're doing in the middle of what we're doing to drive an hour and a half to go exchange our welder for a new welder. Uh, it's just part of life um, and it totally sucks, but what can you do? The only thing that's frustrating is now we have bare metal exposed to the air and I know when we come back later and when we wake up tomorrow that we'll be rusted. So we're gonna have to spend our morning cleaning it again before we can weld. But I don't know, I guess that's life. What can you do? Things happen. This is a really harsh environment here. 
as beautiful as it is, it is really, really difficult to keep things working and functioning and yeah, I don't know. The humidity and the uh, the salt, they just destroy stuff. Cars, pretty much any machine, any machine that is exposed to the outside air. So off we go, uh, Harbor Freight, get a new welder and uh, hopefully things aren't too bad and rusted when we come back. It was a bit windy, surprisingly windy. It was not windy two seconds ago when I was out here. So we went to Harbor Freight yesterday. Everything went fine. We did the exchange for the welder. And today I finished welding what I was supposed to be welding yesterday. So uh, I finished welding the two by two to the, uh, in between the two other steel reinforcements for the frame of the sliding glass door. And we're just cleaning off the slag right now of the weld and uh, yeah, start to, to paint soon. So here we're using a four and a half inch angle grinder with a wire wheel to clean the slag off of the reinforcements. As you can see, the reinforcements are welded in. The reinforcements are also doubling as the door frame. So now what Viant is doing is he is cleaning the slag off of where I welded the frames in place. And after the slag is removed, then we can go ahead and apply the first layer of paint. We used a sandblasting siphon attachment with our air compressor to remove the slag from the spots where the angle grinder couldn't reach. Another beautiful day on the Oregon coast here at Pacific Pines Ranch. We got the welder all figured out and squared away. So we have a new welder that we exchanged at Harbor Freight for the Vulcan Omni Pro 220. So that's good. We tried it. Everything works great. And now we are working on cutting the frames for the smaller picture windows that we have. So we needed to cut at 45 degrees the angle for the uh, for the frame so we busted out the miter saw that we bought from Harbor Freight and the metal that we're cutting is a quarter inch thick so it's pretty pretty heavy-duty stuff and yeah basically long story short we burnt the 
motor out of the miter saw with like within like 10 minutes of doing some cuts on the quarter inch steel. So today we had to go into town and buy a chop saw that's kind of more suited for heavy duty metal. So we got that set up and now we are ready to finish cutting the frames for the picture windows. Hopefully we won't burn this one out, but we'll see. <laughs> Now we're just testing it out and making sure that our measurements line up. Alrighty, so, excuse me. <laughs> so we finished welding the frames. It's very messy because we just finished working. So I will try to, uh, don't judge it too much. You know anyways here is the final frame for one of the picture windows went through and welded all the corners do 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 and yeah so tomorrow we're gonna clean that off clean the welds and whatnot uh, we have a the window is right here that will be installing so we checked everything fits and uh yeah so that's pretty much all that we're gonna do tonight because it's as you can see it's dark out so we're gonna call it a day and get back at it tomorrow so i'll take you around show you what we did and uh yeah so we finished the cutouts for the windows that we framed yesterday right here right here uh, see what it looks like from inside so here are the frames i almost am done uh cleaning all the welds on them. But these frames will go in this window back there. Well, I mean, one per window, but one there and one there. But take a look. Lots of natural light up in here. It's like we're living outside except we're inside, which is exactly what I wanted. Looking good, looking good. And then soon after we can in install the windows and the doors and start to work on cutting out the frame for the container doors that we are going to make into, I guess, window door. So we could cut out a, the middle, put a glass panel and there'll be functioning doors. But what I wanted to show you is the dust from when we do metal work. What that looks like is that. So, one second. As you can see, it is everywhere and that's just floating around in the air and if that gets on the glass, I'm done for. So, I prefer to protect my equipment and not have it inside. So yeah, that's everything. That's what we've done so far and more to come. 
we'll be painting and installing the glass panels and the windows and doors and whatnot. So still lots to go, but little by little progress. After we cleaned the frames up, they were ready to be welded to the container. After we welded the window frames to the container, we painted them with the epoxy primer. All right, so we finished welding in the last two exterior door slash window frames, those two right there. So I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you what it's like from the inside and from the bottom. So here is the entrance. This is the living area. So we got the one frame for the sliding glass door there and the, the other two windows and other sliding glass door there. So there we got the one window, there's the other window and yeah, that's everything. So we will go ahead and uh, work on installing the doors and windows next and afterwards we will seal the roof and the sides and that will enclose the first level. So this is what this will look like from the side and the bottom. So we got the side that faces the ocean there. Now we'll walk down and I'll show you what that is from the bottom. So this is the the other part of the house, you can see the openings from another angle. It's really wet and muddy, so it's kind of hard to walk and film at the same time. So yeah, lots of natural light, which is what we wanted. So here is the finished product. You can see all of the steel frames slash reinforcements that we welded onto the first level, all of which we will be installing windows and or sliding glass doors eventually. So subscribe if you'd like to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and like or share this video. It would help us a lot. Stay tuned for our next video where we will be installing the sliding glass doors and windows into the openings that we cut out.